Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of March 6, 2016. The Jurassic Park Visitor Center by user El Diago is the latest LEGO Ideas project to reach the 10,000 supporter milestone. LEGO Ideas is a program where anyone can submit their concepts for new LEGO sets and the users vote on which ones they like best. This visitor center recreation not only features the exterior building facade, but it can be opened on hinges revealing many rooms inside that allow you to recreate iconic scenes from the movie. There's the main entrance hall with two brick-built skeletons, a sauropod and a tyrannosaurus, the restaurant and gift shop, kitchen, VIP dining room, the emergency bunker, the showcase theater, control room, and the genetics lab with cold storage. The set could also include many minifigures to match their movie counterparts, as well as a couple raptors, including the big one, Clever Girl. Now that this project has reached 10,000 supporters, it will be judged by the LEGO Review Board as to whether or not it can be released for sale. LEGO idea sets based on existing properties have been released in recent years, including Ghostbusters, WALL-E, and Doctor Who. The LEGO Review phase will begin in May. This month, a drilling platform will rise in the Gulf of Mexico, but it won't be aiming for oil. Scientists will try to sink a diamond-tipped bit into the heart of the Chicxulub crater, the buried remnant of an asteroid impact 66 million years ago that probably helped to kill off the dinosaurs. For two months, they will work day and night drilling further and further down, looking for changes in rock types, cataloging microfossils, and collecting DNA samples. As the drill approaches the crater, 800 meters down, scientists expect to find fewer species of the shell-producing animals than make up the limestone, because life was just recovering from the impact. Some scientists think that the carbon dioxide released by the impact would have acidified the oceans, contributing to the extinctions. So the drill team will look at whether seafloor animals just after the impact were species that tolerate low pH. The main event, though, will be reaching the peak ring. Peak rings abound on the Moon, Mercury, and Mars. On Earth, though, there are only two craters larger than the Chicxulub crater, but they are so old that the peak rings have eroded away. The team is interested not just in the structure of the peak ring rocks, but in what life they might host. They will be researching whether or not microbes thrived in the hot liquids of the newly formed crater at a time when most other life on the planet was ending. To stay up to date on dinosaur news, visit dinosaurstop.com. That's all for this week, and until next time, rawr!